Hello, everybody. I welcome all of you to this course on engineering uh, on AutoCAD. So, in the previous two classes, we have seen the drawing tools and modification tools. Now, we will see some more remaining tools like you know dimension, layer, etc. Okay. So, first we will uh, you know before starting any drawing, as I said in the first class, you have to set the limit and zoom it. So, for that. First, we will type here limits, limits, enter that. Then you have to specify the lower limit corner that is 0, 0. Then you specify the upper limit corner, upper right corner that is say 300, 200. I am giving. So, enter, enter button. Then you again you press enter button so that the uh, lower and upper limit are coming inside that bracket so once it is inside bracket again you press enter button once or twice so that now you can uh, now you can zoom the uh, you can zoom the diagram according to the limits you have set so for that just just type zoom enter and then you specify all okay you select the option all so that now you have you have zoomed the uh, this uh, screen according to your limit which is which you have set now if you want if you don't want this uh, this um, pattern okay you can just type grid okay grid you want to uh, you want to remove grid you can select this you just type grid and you can just put off that okay grid off okay you can turn off that if you want you can uh, uh, turn on that according uh, according okay now now you have set the limit and the, you know you have zoomed the screen according to your dimension which you have given now we will see uh, uh, some uh, first we will see dimension rules okay you are drawing a circle like this okay a circle you have drawn like this now you want to you want to do the dimensioning of that okay so for that you have dimension rule this is the dimension tool okay this is dimension select dimension so in that you have radius diameter etc this is radius select that radius and select this circle and you show the uh, dimension so that you can get the dimension okay now uh, you you want to modify this one okay so if you want to modify that you have this annotation select, select that in that you click here okay then you have the dimension style manager okay uh, otherwise you can just type modify okay dim modify you type dim modify or uh, dim style you can get this uh this one this tool you in that you select modify okay then select modify so that you can uh, you can get an option like this so in that you can just select text height if you want to add this text height you can give it as say five millimeter five centimeter five millimeter then you have the symbols and arrows so there you can give say say another value you want to give say three mm slightly larger arrow you want you can give three then you have the then you have the fit okay fit uh, text then you have the primary units primary units, units you can here you can select zero okay precision is zero so now it is okay give okay and close so that you can get a slightly larger uh, your dimension according to your uh, according to your need okay so that is how you do the dimensioning of a line okay now so circle okay. if you want to do the dimensioning of a box like this okay this is a box say uh, a box like this you want to do the dimension of a box okay Okay, if you want to do the dimension of this box, what you will I will trim this trim select trim. Okay, this one and this one I am selecting. Then I am just right, right click, then you select the you know unwanted portion so that and enter. Okay, so now you this is a box you want to do the dimension of this box. So for that, here this is a this is a dimension linear dimension you can take linear select this portion and this portion. Okay, so that you can get the length of that line. Another line you want uh, this dimension, select this dimension and this dimension. You can just uh, get the dimension of that. Suppose you have an inclined line like, like this, okay, uh, inclined line like this. You want to do the dimensioning of that that particular line. Here you have this this option you can take aligned, okay. So just go go for that option and select this one and this one, okay. Then you can get the uh, inclined dimension also like this. So you have. You can uh, you have different options like uh, linear and aligned. Then you have angle. So if you you want to get the angular dimension, okay. Here it is 90 degrees. Okay, you want to get the angle of that. 
so just select that option angular okay select this line and this line okay then you can get the angle as 90 degrees so these are the uh, dimension tools okay so you have diameter radius arc length arc angle okay then uh, aligned and linear dimensions so these are the dimension dimension tools next you have text you want to type something say select multiple uh, single uh, you want to select this you want to type something so select this option you can go for both in your whichever one you can go so select the here it is giving uh, showing us uh, show the here it is showing us start the first point of the text you show this point okay then you want to specify the height of the object it is showing us specify the height so you give, just give say 10 mm okay then enter then you want to give the angle angle is zero type zero then then option then you can type the name whatever you want okay so like this you can type and enter okay then escape okay so again you want to you know in this way you can type okay so you want to say you want to name this circle uh, you want to name the uh, you want to name this uh, rectangle you can uh, type like this or you want to move this uh, suppose you have drawn a uh, object like this and you are uh, na naming that object uh, typing that object name here then you just move it so that okay, this is the move command using that you can just move that and and you can name that accordingly okay like this you can move okay so that is uh, dimension and uh, text comment okay so these are the uh, important comments used in AutoCAD now we have a uh, line type okay you have uh, you want to change the uh, you want to change the uh, type of the line okay here you have uh, you know uh, you want to change the type of particular line okay you want you have a you want to change the name of a particular you know uh, type of a line so for that you have uh, you just click here okay this one is for thickness you can select the thickness of the line and if you want to change the type of the line select second bilayer option so in that you select other so you have an option like this so in that you can load different types of lines okay load then you go for the line which you want okay you want a dotted line or a center line like this 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 one you can select okay okay then you go for a next line okay another line uh, this is dotted line then you have the center line okay another line say uh, center 5 okay center 5x okay you okay then okay now you you want to change this line okay you have two two lines here this is one line okay then you have another line this one you have already drawn now you want to change the type of that line okay so just uh, select this select this line okay then you go uh, in this option you want to which one you want you can just select that option so that the line is modified according to you know your the type of the line is modified now you want to change this type by now a type of this line select that line and the next is send another dashed line so that you can see that uh, line is modified okay so these are this is a line you know type comment now you want to change the color of this object so you have option by layer option in that you just go for uh, you want to change the color of this this line okay you want to change the color of this to this line so that you can uh, uh, which color you want you can select that so that line is modified according to that color now you have another color this one you want to change okay you can select that and you can change the color according to that uh, you, you can modify that here this one you want to modify select that line and here in the by layer you just go for the color which you want to make okay then here you have another color line that you want to change you can change that to yellow okay so you can see that the color of that all those three lines uh, you know change now okay you want to change the uh, suppose this 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 one color of this uh, writing or uh, text so that you can change okay another color like this you can uh, change that okay according to that and then you you press the enter button so that the color also you can modify so these are the different uh, important tools which are used so we have seen the um, the text comment the dimension comment and the uh, line uh, type uh, properties like uh, line thickness and type of line and also the color of color of the text okay in this way you can modify these are some modification tools uh, different you know special modification tools used in autocad
so hope you understood these things thank you very much for listening to this lecture thank you very much